The member from Scarborough Legion Court. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Community and Social Services. I was very pleased to see the uh, 2018 budget to include and expand investment and support of Ontarians with developmental disability and their family. And Mr. Speaker, I've spoken to many constituents in my riding of Scarborough Agent Corps with development disability and their family, and I heard about the support to ensure the development disability are truly thriving and include their community. And just this past week, Mr. Speaker, the member from Trinity Spadana and I attended a very special event hosted by the world's largest vegetarian restaurant chain, Saravana Bahana Restaurant. Wow. The CEO Ganeshan Sukumar supporting our developmental disability students with autism, Mr. Speaker, and supporting the South Asian Autism Center Question. in Scarborough. Speaker, through you to the uh, minister, can he please share with the House what his ministry is doing continue to support individuals and the family with developmental disability? Thank you. Good. Minister of Children and Youth Services, Community and Social Services. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank the member from Scarborough Aging Court for the question and for her advocacy on uh, behalf of individuals with developmental disabilities. I also just want to take a moment to thank uh, the former minister, who's now the Minister of Health, for a lot of the work that I'm about to, uh, to mention here today. Uh, Mr. Speaker, yeah, thank you. Over the past decade, our government has been transforming the developmental service sector. Since 2003, we've increased the annual budget in this sector by over $1.3 billion wow. to ensure that more individuals have access to services that they need. Although we've made some important progress, Mr. Speaker, we know that there's a lot more work to be done. And that's why in this year's budget, we're investing an additional $1.8 billion over the next three years in support of adults with developmental disabilities. This is the largest, Mr. Speaker, the largest one-time investment to developmental services in Canadian Answer. history. This means Ontario history. This means for the first time in our province, every eligible adult with developmental disability would get at least $5,000 a year for direct funding through the passports. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you to the minister for his answer. I'm pleased to be part of the government that continues to commit to making improvements to the developmental service sector. The expansion of the passport program will make a significant difference in the lives of adults with developmental disabilities, especially the youth who are turning 18 and transitioning into adult services. And I know, Mr. Speaker, the students in my riding of Scarborough Agent Corps, Sir William Olsa High School, their students will greatly appreciate the expansion of the passport program. The investment will ensure that gains made to the children and youth program, and this government has also made significant investment that will not be lost when the young person turns 18. Speaker, I understand that $1.8 billion investment will do more than just expanding the passport program. Through you, Speaker, to the minister, can he please mm -hmm. to expand about the Question. investment on this particular uh, billions of dollars in developmental services, and how is this going to help the young people? Thank you. Minister. Thank you. Thank you again uh, to the member. In addition, Mr. Speaker, um, this new plan will support over 800 people who are homeless or require different residential supports to move into more appropriate residence while they will receive the right supports in their, for, for their particular needs. Uh, support uh, aging caregivers by providing increased support and making significant capital investments, creating new residential space. We've also heard the concerns from de developmental agencies, Mr. Speaker, and that's why we're increasing approximately $300 million over the next three years to these agencies right across the province. While our government remains committed to supporting and investing in Ontario, with develop, uh, in specifically around developmental disabilities, I'd like to remind this House that the parties opposite remain completely silent on how they intend to support individuals with developmental disabilities here in Ontario. Answer. Thank you.